When producing YouTube videos, we all need fresh content ideas. In this video, we'll run through with no code tools, how we generate a hundred trending YouTube ideas in your niche in under five minutes. We use NABEN as our no code tool. And if you can master this, you can produce timely engaging content that continues to resonate with your audience and boost your channel growth. So we're going to start today with a template on the NATN templates library. If you haven't checked out the NATN templates library, I definitely recommend it. There's a ton of really cool templates that are really useful completely for free. So you've got 1087, you can filter by things like AI, etc. And today we're looking at one specific template that helps us find YouTube trending ideas based on our niche. So this one was created by Leonardo Gregorio. And what we're going to do is show you a full run through of how we would use this template. And you can actually access this template for free, exactly like I'm doing now. So if you haven't used one of these templates before, there are several ways to import it to your NA10 environment, um, which I'll show you in a second. But first on these templates, what you can see is a general description down here of how the template is meant to be used. So I'll leave that for you to run through. So what we have here is a template created by Leonardo Gregorio, and he's created this template that's completely accessible and free to all of us. And we're going to go and run through the setup and show you how to set this up and actually what results it's returned. So there are several ways to import an NA10 flow into your workflow environment. So the way that I usually use is if we click on use workflow down here, we can copy the JSON directly. So that's now on our clipboard. I'm going to open up my test workflow here. And actually all I'm going to do is copy and paste this flow in here. Whenever you do this, what you'll see immediately are these red triangles. And what that indicates is we're missing some sort of information, which is usually credentials because credentials don't carry over in the JSON um, naturally because they are secure and we have credentials saved in our own environment. So what I can see from this workflow is we've got a main chat interface where we can open up the chat down here with the chat window and actually chat with this window. And I've done some previous chats just to test this out. So we'll come back to that in a second. We can see we've got an AI tools agent. So the tools agent helps us connect to different tools. And what he's done here is connect a separate workflow that abstracts out and searches YouTube for trending items based on our search term. So the first thing we're going to do is come into here and open up and connect to our API account. So if you don't already have an OpenAI account, we can use a different model as well. We can use Claude, etc. cetera. But what you need to do is connect to your OpenAI account, set up an account and put in your API key here. I've already got mine set up. And what we're using is GPT-40 Porto GPT-40 Mini. We've also got a window buffer memory here. So what this tells me is that actually the chat window is going to remember the last five messages we've sent. That's a nice, easy way to just store memory. And then we finally got a YouTube search agent. So we go into this, you can see it's called YouTube search. And the description he's given it here is call this tool to search for trending videos based on a query. And we need to define a separate workflow in which this is going to call in a second. And you can see that it simply just inputs a search term and it's given an adjacent example here of some value. So based on our chat, the AI will determine the search term and push it into this separate workflow and send the separate workflow search term and then another uh, value of the niche we're trying to search. And you can see that in the tools agent prompt, 
uh, we've got some helping information that suggests this also. So you help YouTube creators find trending videos in a specific niche. Verify if the user informed a niche before doing anything. So basically look for the niche in the message. If not, ask them what niche. After what type of content that use, user might produce, use the YouTube search tool up to three times with different search terms based on the user's content type and niche. So if we wanted this to run 10 times, 20 times, etc., all we do is just amend this here and we could get, for example, a hundred outputs if that doesn't exceed the maximum outputs of this tools agent. But you can see that we can search for a lot more data than it is doing now. All it's doing is calling this flow several times to find videos that are trending in that niche. Tool will answer with a list of videos from the last two days. So you can see they're super relevant. It returns a list of JSONs covering each video's ID, view count, like count, comment count. So a load of information that's really interesting for us as YouTube video creators, because we obviously want to find stuff that's really engaging and hitting and resonating with an audience. You should then proceed to understand the data received and provide, provide the user with insightful data of what could have been trending. So it will return the YouTube video link as well as key information, but also a summary at the end of what's trending in order to help us understand what content or what content ideas to pursue. So this is the main workflow and actually it's all just operated by a chat interface. This is going to call a sub workflow. So with the AI tools agent, you can connect to various tools. And all that's happening here is we've connected or he's connected to a YouTube search tool. So if I click on tool here on the right hand side, I just show you here on the right hand side, we've got call NA10 workflow tool. Um, we can access these predefined nodes, but here actually we're just calling a node that's not predefined. There's no YouTube node in the tools here. So we're going to call an NAM workflow and that's all that has been done here. And we've given it a description name, etc. However, the one important thing here is that because it's calling another workflow, we need to take this section and actually move it to a completely new workflow. And for test's sake, I've called this test two. And now I want to tell this tool that it's going to call test two workflow. So that will now know which workflow in the N810 environment to call. And if we go to test two, we've got to set up a few. So if I click inside the YouTube credential here, what I can see immediately is it's not got access to a search term. And one thing I know from practice of calling other workflows is we need to open up the nodes here and get the execute workflow trigger so that this workflow can be called by our tools agent. So this just says that this workflow is able to be called by a previous workflow and the tools agent in the previous workflows knows that it's calling this workflow. The second thing we're going to do is go into this YouTube node here. So I've already got a YouTube uh, node account set up. If you don't already have a YouTube account set up, then what we're going to do is you're going to go to Google credentials. And similarly, if you've already set up Gmail or G drive or any of those flows on here, it's fairly simple. So if you go to console.cloud.google.com, then this will bring up your cloud. And if you've previously connected using an AN, you'll be familiar with this because it's usually quite cumbersome for the first time, but not for the second time. So on enabled APIs and 
So if we go to the credentials screen over here, you can see that we've previously set up these OAuth clients. If you don't have one of those set up, you can just go up here, create credentials, one of those. On the right hand side, we're able to see our client ID and our client secret if we hit download action. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that here. But one other important thing, if you've not used YouTube before, you need to go to enabled APIs and services, search up here for YouTube, and it will come up with a few different uh, data APIs. What we're looking for is the YouTube data API v3. Click on that. As you can see, I've already got it enabled, but if you don't, then you can enable it here. Uh, so what we're going to need is the API key to access this for a later node. So if we go on to manage, we go on to credentials, you can see we're back at our credentials screen, but actually what we're going to do is just create a new credential over here. See if I zoom in, create credentials, API key. I'm just going to zoom out and that's just going to create an API key for us that we're going to be able to access this with. So if we copy that to clipboard and obviously I'll remove this afterwards. We go back to our YouTube credential. As I've said, if you've not set this up before, you just update your credential here with your client ID and your client secret. That should work. And the second node that we need to update is this HTTP request. You can see all the other requests do not have any credentials. But in here, we've actually, we're calling the Google API for YouTube video data and we're calling it with an API key here, which we need to replace with our own API key. So for demonstration's sake, I'll put it here. But this is actually bad practice to put it in the query parameter directly because you're exposing it to the web. If you want to know how to actually do this using the authentication method to ensure your API key is encrypted, then you can watch my other video on this but in short you can go to generic credential type add a query auth and then put in the details there but for the sake of this demonstration i'm going to remove the api key afterwards anyway you can see that this grabs the idea of the video it grabs content details snippets and statistics which will enable this to run so we're just going to save that and it's just then grouping the data and saving the data to memory so that our other workflow chatbot can actually access that. So if we go back and we now try and run this, so I'm going to go down here where there's a chat window. Sorry, I'm having to zoom in. So in the chat window, I'm just going to say, find me videos on N8N AI agents, because that's a niche that I'm interested in. I'm going to search for that and you can see that as it activates the AR tools agent has taken in that query and it's understood that it needs to query the YouTube search. So it's already done it once You can see with the one and it will probably do it two more times given we told it to do it three times. So we'll wait for the response on that and then we can have a look at the response. <laughs> Great. So it's now come back with a response and I can see that it's now working correctly. So it says, I found some trending videos related to N10 AI agents. And the first one is Leon Van Zyl, and you can see it links to that channel directly. It's got 2,235 views, 149 likes, and then gives us a description that it's about building a personal AI assistant using N10 and Telegram without coding. So actually immediately we can see that if this video is performing well, then maybe I need to create a video around a personal AI assistant connecting NA10 and Telegram. We've then got AI Workshop, which has 1,783 views, seven comments, and again, another description. We can go into more detail and actually obtain more and more information with this, but this is a really good start of finding ideas. And then, oh, amazingly, it's actually pulled up one of my videos about connecting to any API using AI in two minutes. Yeah, it's linked to there, 18 views, a guide on how to quickly connect to APIs using N8N and AI tools, 
And that's exactly what it's about as well. And then it's even give us a bonus here, number four. And then below that, we've actually got all the links to the videos, but then specific information around this video. So overall, it's given us some really good ideas in our niche, really easy to set up, great template that you can find back on NA10 templates, really good template that will speeds up the idea creation process by maybe three, five times and gives us really relevant videos that are trending on a niche. So this is a great template. Thanks, uh, Leonardo, for pulling that together.